first time in Colorado. Monty, are you navigating? This is as close as we're going to be able to get to the Four Corners. It's closed because of COVID. Durango's a lot of fun. Yeah. Our destination last night was Base Camp Ranch. It's a small RV park right on Highway 160, just outside of Almorosa, Colorado. We are about 20 miles from the Great Sand Dunes uh, National Park, which is our destination for today. Now a little bit about this park. It's an interesting thing. It's, there's only about 13 RV sites that are available and you, you reserve them online. They send you an email that gives you all the instructions what site you're at. You can just pull in. You don't even have to you know, connect with anybody. And in fact, there's not even an office here. There is a one central building that has a laundry and bathrooms and such in it. And that's it. You get full hookups, water electric, sewer, 50 amp electric. The sites are very big. They say they're 100 feet long, so you could bring in a large uh, motorhome into these with a tow behind it and it wouldn't be an issue. They are spaced out reasonably well. They're not on top of each other. Uh, the downside is the cost. I mean, you're really not getting anything but a place to overnight. It's, or a base camp, I guess you could say. If you were going to leave your trailer here, go into the National Park and you didn't want to camp at the National Park. Um, so you would get a base camp out of this and use it for that. But there's really nothing else here. Um, laundry and in, in the in the um, restrooms and showers. That's about it. Um, price on this camp campsite regularly, I think it was forty-seven dollars with good Sam discount. We got it for around forty-five dollars with tax. So I think that's a little on the pricier side. We're going to offset that tonight by going to the national park. We have no hookups, but we're only going to spend ten bucks for that night. So the balance it'll work out in the balance, but still kind of thinking this is a little on the expensive side for what you get. But it's an interesting concept.
This is our campsite here at Great, Great Dunes National uh, National Park, I guess, yeah. Great Sand Dunes National Park. And there's no way we can fit our 28-foot Airstream in here. I don't even think I could make the turn to get in here, but I did a quick measurement, and it's only about 20 feet deep. So we have a 20-foot, 28-foot Airstream that won't fit. So we're gonna have to go find some other accommodations for tonight. We made it to the Great Sand Dunes. Pretty cool. your breath from your hike through the sand dunes? Yeah, walking in sand that deep's a little hard. Harder than probably on some of the hikes that we took. Yeah, yeah, it's like going uphill all the time. Yeah, yeah. And, um, but it was fun. We didn't go too high. We went on a couple of different dunes. Like I said before, we took the dogs and they seemed to enjoy it. Oh, they played. Yeah, they played and when they got tired, they sat or they laid down. Yeah, the sand was warm, so I think they enjoyed that. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So, what was what you thought? Um, I'm not quite sure what I expected. I, When I think of sand dunes, I think of the ones we went up in North Carolina. Right. So, I wasn't quite sure what to expect being in Colorado. But it was, it was neat. I'm glad we stopped here. Yeah. Well, now we've got a head down the road and see if we can find a place to spend the night considering we can't fit our big trailer in that little spot. Yeah, we may be homeless someplace on the side of the road, but we'll, we'll see ya. We'll find someplace. We'll find someplace. So we're gonna go find someplace else. We're gonna plug in our next destination for tomorrow night and just drive a little bit, find a place to stop for tonight and continue our trek for tomorrow.
we have made it to our destination for overnight and it's the following morning and we got a surprise outside so let's go outside and check it out Zephyr what's going on outside come on what do you see Well, as you can see, it's a winter wonderland out here. It's an interesting surprise with we to wake up to this morning. But, heck, not that bad. You can see over here, the roads in the campground have melted off, so highways should be fine. Steph, Monty, come here. Come here. Monty's wanting, wanting to wander off. Wait, now I got snowy leash. Oh, we'll take the dogs for their morning walk, check out the snow, and then get ourselves ready to do today's travel. Well, the sun's coming out. It's trying to warm up a little bit. Let's get some snow off the roof of this truck and see if we can get ready to travel on for the day. cleaned off, ready to go. Last night we spent the night at Lathrop State Park in Colorado. It was a welcome uh, site to find. It had a lot, of a, cap a lot of availability. Obviously, this isn't prime camping time for Colorado, but it was a great little park. Had a nice, easy pull through site and it worked great for us. So now, now on our way to Kansas. We're end this video here. So if you like this video, what should they do? Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. That's right. And hit the bell for notifications. We post new videos on a weekly basis. And we'd love to have you follow along in our adventure. So until the next time, we will see, see you, you down the road. Yep.